My favorite thing about foundation was that everything was exciting. Every one and everything you studied was diverse and interesting. And you're always trying something new and out of your comfort zone. It kind of creates this whole community of excitement and creativity. The first year at RISD is made up of three studios, drawing, design, spatial dynamics, and two liberal arts, art history and literary arts and studies. Students are grouped into one group of 20 in the fall and a different mix of students in the spring. You're just thrown in with 500 other artists that were also probably like the most passionate at their school. So you really get close to everyone in your section. They also have three different studio faculty in the fall and three different ones in the spring. Winter session at RISD is in January and February, and it's when students are taking just one or two courses and they do a deep dive in one of the majors that they might be thinking about. And then they'll be in that course with sophomores, juniors, seniors, grad students, and really get to talk to them about all of their experiences at RISD. The students get a lot of different viewpoints, sometimes even contradictory in the way that we define certain terms, in the emphasis that we'll place on different subjects, and definitely in the kinds of projects that we give. The students have to experience the reality that there are many different approaches to art and design. It's a really healthy way to go about making things. I and mean, you want those experiences for students because ultimately they're the ones responsible for gathering that information and deciding for themselves. And there's a component that they need to add to that formula to become an independent thinker. I was very straightforward in my thinking, but Foundation Shield helped me to really think and understand like why I want to make something. What is the story behind it? For me, the first year, it's really finding the why you're doing it, which is a different thing than than the what and the how to do it. Our studios are seven and a half hours, which gives faculty enough time to work with students one-on-one, -on -one, work with the students as groups, do lectures, extended critiques, and they're very supportive of first-year students and pay close attention to the development and progress of students. I think Foundation Year is a time to experiment and kind of break free from any preconceived notions about how you make work and how you like to make work. I think it makes you a much more adaptable artist. The professors, you know, they're saying, don't be afraid to make marks. It's all about the process. You draw something, you don't like it, you just smudge it over, and then you make the next mark more visible. That notion of thinking through creating is something that I really got to develop. I've become much better at talking about my work and presenting my work. I think part of that is because we are encouraged to think about our work while we make it, but also reflect upon it after it's made and when other people receive the work. It definitely helped me to think conceptually, and that's an art form, expressing how you feel, expressing who you are through a design. We have an amazing faculty. They love working with students right out of high school, fresh, eager, open. They approach their courses very differently from each other. Some are more traditional, some are more contemporary in their approaches, and most of them blend those aspects. They come from all different backgrounds, painters, sculptors, industrial designers, furniture designers, architects, filmmakers, all teaching in the first year. We really embrace different ways of making and learning, and that really shows up in the range of work that comes out of the studios. Critique is the central part of learning here. In the beginning, there's a lot of assumption that somehow we are gonna give answers to things, and over time, the students realize that the best outcome is better questions. You're with the same section for so much time. That really leads to a better understanding of each other as people, but also as artists. And so when it comes to critiques, you're able to say, you know, I feel like this is something you've never done before. You've really stepped out of your comfort zone. And then at times you get the other end where people say, I feel like you haven't taken any risks. You've been really safe because you've been comfortable with this. And that really helps keep you in check. You start to think about, okay, so how can I really try something new? How can I further my own education here? Becoming a well-rounded artist means being able to do more than just that one thing that you specialize in. The different classes inform each other in that way, so once you have the wisdom to decide which skills you need for which problem, you can create much more dynamic work that relies a lot less on routine and formula.
you do take your aspects of design and apply them in drawing class, or you take something you learned on your spatial dynamics class and apply it to do your, your design class, because you're not learning how to do 3D work, you're learning about how does that 3D work relate to all work. So the important thing is patience in the students and a trust that the process can reveal ideas that they hadn't anticipated, and that's where it gets really exciting that they don't have to come up with ideas in the beginning and then simply execute those ideas. By the end of the year, they are so confident working three-dimensionally, working with technology, drawing, and they really have the confidence to go on into any of the majors. RISD taught me how to see and how to understand visual communication and things that now when I approach my making, I want to have intent behind my choices. I'm more comfortable and more at ease with starting in the unknown. And I trust myself that I have the potential, which I experienced in the foundation year, to get to a certain point of completion. The big turning point for me was realizing that I need to be making work for myself and not to try to impress people or please a professor. And I think the minute I realized that this is all about me and like who I want to become as an artist, the pressure lifted a little bit. It became much more of an internal practice, just being able to really find joy in the experimentation. We are all inspired by each other. Like after midnight, people were like, hey, can you come critique this in my dorm room? <laughs> like, yeah, we just did it because we all care and care about each other.